Huge gains in the tourism sector last year have essentially been wiped out as a result of the novel coronavirus. With the industry currently dead, Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Dionisio Diagler, says tourism officials are putting their heads together to determine how to re-energize the industry. Cleopatra Murphy has more. Minister of Tourism and Aviation, the Honorable Dionisio Diagular, says the Bahamas will have to become more creative to jumpstart the tourism sector once the novel coronavirus crisis is somewhat settled. The industry has come to a screeching halt with once filled hotels now empty and previously bustling tourist hotspots now deserted. Diagular says because tourism is a contact sport, officials will have to create an industry that limits contact but still allows for a memorable experience. Right now, if you look to our neighbors to the north, the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, they are in the throes of COVID-19. They're in the middle of their surge. So they're not talking about tourism. In fact, nobody is talking about tourism. We are going to have to develop, as we are with other light industries, we have to develop our domestic economy. We have to, if people are afraid to travel overseas, travel in your own country, go back and visit your family. Obviously, when, the, when, the, when our surge is done with, so we have to be creative in getting money to circulate and getting some sort of tourism uh, off the ground. With the world focusing on managing the deadly virus, Diagra says now is the time to think about how to re-energize the sector after the curfew and lockdowns. We obviously need to in bring in foreign currency. We obviously need to bring as many foreign visitors as we can to the country to, uh, to uh, improve our economic situation. As it relates to domestic travel, I'm sure that numbers will be down and market forces will determine lowering of prices in order to allow people to travel to try to build up traffic. But we have to figure out how a business could operate, a hotel, a restaurant, in this new norm. How do we social distance uh, in a, a business that by and large required a lot of contact. On the opposite end of attracting tourists to our shores, with a number of Bahamians stranded abroad and the country closed to domestic and international travel, the Minister of Tourism says there have been discussions at the cabinet level about bringing Bahamians home. Anytime you have uh, Bahamians stuck abroad, that is a concern for us. Uh, obviously that's being balanced with the health concerns and the fact that we have an order in place that nobody can come uh, into the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Um, but it's a concern, and uh, trust me, it's gut-wrenching. And uh, we are grappling with this each and every day, trying to balance the concerns of our citizens that are in the United States who want to come home, and our health concerns, making sure that we keep the 400,000 Bahamians that are here safe and healthy. Cleopatra Murphy, S Network News.